Hello everyone, John Adolphy here. We have another HUD home right outside of Beeville in the town of Van Buren at uh, two I'm sorry, 216 Blanchard Boulevard. And Blanchard Boulevard is right off of O'Brien and O'Brien is right off of Route 48. Here's the lay of the land before we go inside. I have not been inside this property yet. Well, as we usually do, we'll go around back and take a peek. I'll give you some comments as we go through it and then we'll go take a look inside and we'll continue those comments through. Okay, here we All go. All right, just wanna let you know, I'm looking at the roof and the roof doesn't look brand new, but uh, it looks like it's in good shape. Uh, this is kind of funky. I've never seen this before. And we've got some peeling paint here too. So uh, I've never seen sort of like a vestibule for a garage. Interesting. All right, so we got some peeling paint here on the Texture 111. Got some rotted wood there. Okay, this looks like an, an addition or a shed. We'll find out what it is in just a second. It's an addition, and we do have a nice size shed back here. Back yard is pleasant. It's not that big, but it's uh, big enough, you know? Oh, okay, look at that. Now we've got a newer roof on the back here with the architectural shingles that do not match uh, the whiter three-tab non-architectural shingles on uh, the front. And when they did it, they did the shed also. It's got um, Texture 111. It's kind of a wood with um, those kind of ingrained stripes you see. That's what Texture 111 is. It's an inexpensive way of siding. All right, so let's head inside Okay, now. so this is a three-bedroom ranch, 1,256 square feet. I don't know if that's, that is in, um, that they're including the addition on the back. And I'm going to take a look here in just a second and look. Hmm, not sure. Let's just take a look though and see what we've got here. Small bedroom, carpet is, okay, and it's on, I can feel it, it's on a concrete slab too, so there's, there's not gonna be any basement underneath. Okay, small bedroom, you got some sort of closet up there if you want, you want to call it, and a small closet right here too. Bathroom, you've got some, are those ceramic tile? Might be. Furnace, how's the furnace look? Uh, can't tell from out here. Okay, let's open it up and take a look. Hmm, looks kind of, not brand new, but it's clean. All right, bathroom. Okay, need some, need some freshing up, some remodeling. Uh, yeah. These are ceramic tiles. This needs a good cleanup or a new surround put in. There is a window there, so you have to cut that out of the surround or eliminate the window if you want. You got some closet space here and you got a sitting area here. And that's circa 1983, I know, because I've seen it before in other things. All right, oh, look at this horrible carpet. <laughs> got some sheetrock over here that needs to be done, probably because this window had rotted out at one time and it leaked. Because I can see that it's kind of it's newer. Yeah, it is. Got some vinyl windows going on. This is a pretty good size room right here. So you got a small room, a good size room, and is this the medium room? Yeah. Okay. This is kind of a smaller room, but but no, but on the medium side. So it's not bad. And you know what? The ceilings are over eight feet, so you get that feeling of largerness. Can I use that word? Uh, inside, inside the room that is, and even the rest of the house too. Okay, what do we got here in the kitchen? We got some sort of vinyl, vinyl simulated wood, or is this the real thing? Oh, it might be the real thing. Uh, what's this? I don't know what this is. Okay, well, we'll just leave that for right now. There's where your washer and dryer hookup would be, or will be. All right, I need some cleaning up. Kitchen cabinets. Almost non-existent. Okay, I see what they did. They created this addition on the back. It's not finished, but with sheetrock and a new uh, new cabinets and whatnot, this would rock. But you're going to need to spend a little bit of money. The obviously, the vinyl flooring is 1990, and it's or even before that, and it's, it's no good. And you see again, sheetrock missing right here, but you got some insulation up here. All right, and there's the outdoors backyard right there. 
All right, that's about it. There's no basement to show you, and there's no, no necessarily any. Oh, let's go out to the um, garage. I was going to say no, no attic, but there's attic right there, but we don't necessarily have to go out there or go up there. It's not really that relevant. Okay. Wow, what is this? Some sort of like wood. That's funky. Okay, wood paneling there. All right, I'll give you my final thoughts in just a second. All right, let's go ahead and recap 216 Blanchard Boulevard. First off, the assessed value is 81.2. And I would say all fixed up, this house is worth no more than about $89,000, okay? So we're good there. Sold in 1999 for $49,900. HUD is asking 59.9, excuse me, 59. Let me tell you what they're what the appraiser is thinking. The appraiser is thinking, well, there's about 20 plus thousand dollars worth of work, and uh oh, here comes the thumb. You add that to the 59.9, and you got about the assessed value 81.2. Problem is, where's the incentive? So I'm going to give it a half thumbs up at 59. The long, you know, the, the closer it gets to 50, whoops, sorry, the, then the thumb goes up. Okay, in the high 40s, then the thumb starts to get enthusiastic and beyond that wow <laughs> get ready to get a great deal give us a call 695-6434 just remember the thumb doesn't lie and real estate is awesome